In this video, we're gonna cover the ultimate cryptocurrency guide you need to understand the cryptocurrency market step by step. My goal for this video is for you to become more knowledgeable, confident, and also understanding how to protect your hard earned money. Because let's face it, cryptocurrency at the moment is kind of like the wild west and you need to understand how to protect your money. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can be notified about these time sensitive videos and also smash that like button down below and share with your family and friends so they can be also more knowledgeable and confident about cryptocurrency. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, and welcome back to part four of the ultimate crypto guide. So if you haven't watched uh, part one, two, and three, I would recommend going back and watch those videos uh, before you actually watch this one so that everything will make sense. Plus you will get this Google Doc uh, as well. Um, and you can also find it into the description uh, below. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So today we're gonna talk about the website and apps that you should bookmark and download. And also we're gonna talk about centralized and decentralized exchanges. All right, so first of all, uh, the most uh, popular and uh, the most important apps that you should have are CoinMarketCap and the second one is CoinGecko. So CoinMarketCap and CoinGecko are basically coin tracker apps, right? They will basically tell you at uh, any given time uh, the price of a specific uh, token, right? Or coin, right? They'll tell you the price, they'll tell you the uh, price change in the 24 hours, seven days, the market cap, uh, how much volume, meaning how many uh, trades have, have been happened on that specific uh, uh, time frame, the circulating supply, and also they will uh, also give you a line graph of the price action, right? And uh, the reason why this is important because uh, first of all, you can understand like, you know, so you can basically understand uh, also the price action of a specific token, whether it's moving upwards or whether it's going downwards, okay? So, uh, and it's, it's very important because it, it, you know, you can understand how the market is moving overall, right? So as you can see right here today, it's pretty, pretty red day. Uh, but you know, if you, let's say if we click on Ethereum right here, when, when we click on here, it basically give us the graph. And if we, if we click on the different time frame, it will basically give us the, um, the price action uh, histories since the app started tracking the price, okay? So as you can see here in 2015, the Ethereum price was uh, $1.82. So, uh, you know, you can um, check the price action between one, one day, seven days, one month, three months, uh, one year, year to date, and also all, right? So it'll give you the, the entire, um, it'll give you the entire price action. Right, so that's a, a very useful, very useful app. And also, it, once you uh, click on the specific token, it, was, it gives you also the website uh, links, where are the official uh, community links, the contract of the token, and then it gives the market cap for the market cap. So those those are things that we covered before. Okay. So also, if you uh, scroll down here, you also see a little bit about the about description of the token and also where you can uh, buy the token. Um, and uh, what, what that means is that where you can actually go ahead and exchange your fiat, which is your dollar or euros or whatever there is to actually buy the cryptocurrency, right? So it'll tell you a list of exchanges, which we're gonna cover them later, uh, they, where you can buy and also some news related to the token. Okay, so that's that's the the one that I uh, use mainly to track the quickly uh, track the price of the token. I also have more advanced tools like TradingView, which are more like um, for advanced technical analysis. Uh, but for 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 now, that you you know maybe you're just getting started like. 
coin market cap, it's it's a great way to start. So the the second coin tracker that I want you to have and bookmark and download also the app is CoinGecko, right? So those are the main two, right? So the reason why I also have CoinGecko because sometimes some tokens uh, they will take some time to get listed on uh, Coin Market Cap, and whereas some CoinGecko they're faster to uh, list the tokens. Okay, so those are those are the main two. So the main two websites where you can actually track the price of the tokens and you can have them available for you, right? So then the next uh, the next one that I want to talk about is Coin Market Cal. The uniqueness about this website is there's basically a calendar, right? And it's a calendar that keeps tracks of the events about specific uh, tokens, okay? So the reason why this is important is because when you see a price movement, right? Let's say significant price movement, sometimes there is some news that came out. And uh, by the time you catch the news, it's already too late. Instead of like by coming here and you know type in here your the name of your coins and see if there is any events related to that, you can prepare and maybe you can buy the token earlier and get into at a at a better price because uh, there is a potential for the price of the token to get uh, to appreciate after that news gets uh, released okay again this is not financial advice this is for informational and educational purposes only do not invest money that you can afford to lose because investing in cryptocurrencies is risky right so let's say let's take for example this one right here okay kaba protocol uh, april 30th they have the eth bridge beta launch okay so if we click on here it's basically this is the event okay and uh, this is basically a co community based okay so anyone can add this okay uh, so uh, the community then uh, will have to uh, uh, vote whether you know what the vote of confidence meaning like the person that actually added this on the website is it's, it's truthful right and then if you can, you can click on here there is the proof right of what the news is but also it's also good to validate and verify right because what happens in the in the market and in the cryptocurrency space is that a lot of people buy their rumors right and sell the news and what it means that you know for example right oh there is the ATH bridge battle launch so a lot of people get excited and start buying start buying but the the smart money they're actually buying earlier and by the time the news gets released that news is already priced in meaning like you know the price reached already the level and then the people that bought in earlier they start to take profits right and you can actually see that you know the price went up actually up to today and this could be actually another example of buying the rumors and selling the news because today apparently there's the eth bridge battle launch right also there's different factors that are playing right now because we probably are in a bear market and but uh, you know just to give you an example you know this is a this is a very cool website where you can go here and check all these things right but as you can see here they have a gamify and nft incentive so this is all the news that have been added here so they they're also they, they are being tracked okay so they're being tracked right here so you can uh, you can check them all right so this is a very very cool website you can come in and you see you will have all the major relevant news that are getting spotted about some, some specific tokens okay so this is definitely a very very uh, interesting website that you should book, bookmark on okay so the other uh, website that i want to talk about is coin stats okay so maybe at the beginning you don't need this but this is very useful for tracking your portfolio Okay, so once you log in in here and you can con you will connect all your exchanges and your wallets, you'll be able to track all your assets in one single place. And that's very, very cool. The thing's about $4.99 a month and you can have it on your phone and also you can have it on your desktop, right? Very, very cool. The other one, I mean, you know about Twitter, but the reason why I'm mentioning Twitter is that because a lot of projects are uh, communicating with their community, especially on Twitter. 
and Twitter is a great, great social media platform for the cryptocurrency space. I kid you not how many projects I spotted just by scrolling down Twitter and uh, you know following the right people on Twitter and uh, also doing my own research about the project and keeping up with the project. So definitely, you should definitely download Twitter if you don't have it. Also, you know, Twitter is gonna get a lot more attention if Elon Musk is gonna uh, is gonna pursue his deal. Uh, so yeah, definitely you should have Twitter. And the other uh, app that I want you to uh, download and have is Telegram, okay? Telegram right here is another messaging um, a platform app and uh, if, you, if you don't have it, you can download it. And that's where a lot of the communities of those crypto projects are, they, they gather, okay? So you have a telegram right here when you basically click right here and it's gonna bring you to the official uh, telegram uh, group of Solana, right? There's 86,000 uh, members. Just a, a word of caution when you join Telegram, make sure to put the privacy setting on and so that other people cannot add you to other groups because as soon as you get on Telegram and you gonna join one of those tele, crypto Telegram groups, you'll see people adding you to different groups. So, so you go to the settings and you basically um, change your privacy settings so that nobody can add you in different groups unless you let them to. Okay, and also, just another word of caution, when you join Telegram, and especially when you join those crypto uh, groups, you're gonna see a lot of people that are gonna start messaging you. And they're gonna pretend to be your friends, they're gonna pretend to help you, or they are the support, uh, they support people about the, the project. And uh, those people are 100% percent scammers so anytime someone dms you first from a crypto telegram group you gotta do only one thing see they send you the message and on telegram you see block and respond you have to block that person immediately because those people they just trying to get advantage of crypto newbies right they, they, they don't know the, the, the this industry and they're trying to help you and they they're trying to trick you into giving you the passwords and trying to give you and give you the private keys uh, they're basically gonna steal your funds right so you gotta be very very careful about this and that's something that I want you to um, to, to pay attention to also for the private keys, your private keys are basically the, the keys that allows you to unlock your wallet. And if you are not protecting those, you're not in charge of your crypto. Okay, so make sure make sure that you are paying attention to your security as well. All right, so uh, that's it. And the other one is Discord. All right, Discord is an, another platform where a lot of community gathers. And you know, if you click on here. Um, you will basically redirect it to the um, Discord chat, right? And uh, you can see there is 121,000 members. Uh, it's a very, very popular um, platform for crypto NFTs related project because it's very useful. It's very, it's very fun to interact with other fellow members in the community. So it, you should definitely download this and have this available for you, okay? So that's it for website and apps. I mean, uh, there's also other uh, apps, but for now, no, if you're just getting started, that's the best uh, apps that you can have, okay? So next, we're going to talk about centralized and decentralized exchanges, right? So we talked about the different blockchains before, we talked about uh, the types, the coins, all kinds of stuff, but now how do you actually buy those tokens and, what, and also what exchanges are? So you have two types of exchanges. You have the centralized exchange and also you have the decentralized exchange, okay? So a centralized exchange is controlled by a known entity and the decision-making is in the power of a single organization or individual. So an example of centralized exchange 
is, for example, Binance or Bybit or Kraken or Qcoin, right? So those are centralized exchange because there's a corporation, there's a group of individuals that basically control that specific exchange, okay? And it has the pros and cons, right? Uh, because uh, they have, by being a corporation, you know, they, they follow certain protocols and um, uh, they have support if you, uh, if you have any problems. But at the same time, they are the one that control your funds because if they froze your account, they also can froze your crypto. So um, that's, that's also another thing. And also in terms of privacy, right? By being a centralized exchange, in order to get into this uh, platform, right? You have to go through a process which is called KYC, okay? And by KYC, KYC know your customers, okay? Which means that you have to submit your ID, right? Your nice picture of yourself and send it to, to the exchange. And then basically they'll say, they'll verify that you are a real person, that you're not a bot and then they will basically give you access to the uh, platform, okay? So that's, that's how uh, a centralized exchange works. Um, on the other hand, the decentralized exchange is not controlled by a known entity, right? Uh, and the decision-making of the exchange is, is basically belongs to the network, okay? Again, it's a software, it's been created, and the network that runs the software, basically runs the network, okay? And um, th th that's why it's not, by not being controlled by one single entity, there is more, there, there, there is less, quote unquote, invasion of privacy, because you basically, you connect your digital wallet to the decentralized exchange, and you can, if you have funds, you can exchange cryptocurrencies, okay? So what are those decentralized exchanges, okay? So we have different decentralized exchanges. We have PancakeSwap, Uniswap, WagiSwap, we have OneInch, we have ApeSwap recently. So, and I want you to also understand the concept of swapping. So swapping is basically is the exchange of one crypto to another, okay? And that's why they call it swap, right? Where you basically swap it. And the reason why they're called pancake swap, Uniswap, and why you swap, they're, they are basically kind of like, uh, I recognize them. It's based on the type of blockchains they are running on, okay? So, and what I mean by that, okay, is that pancake swap, okay, is basically, the decentralized exchange or DEX of the Binance Smart Chain, okay? So they have their own native token cake, right? That runs basically on the Binance Smart Chain and uh, um, the majority of the token that launched on the Binance Smart Chain at the beginning, they use PancakeSwap, right? To allow their users to exchange their uh, coins for um, the other cryptocurrencies that they have, okay? So let's, uh, I'm gonna show you to you right here. So um, this is uh, PancakeSwap, okay, right here. And uh, as you can see, uh, as you can see right here, you have, right, so right now, uh, the, the swap is enabled, okay? And there is, for example, there is a BNB and the cake token, okay? If I want to swap BNB for cake, okay, uh, type 0 0.7, and uh, right here, they will exchange uh, 0 0.72, let's say, right? Uh, and by swapping, right, BNB for cake, I will receive 36 cake, okay? And if I'll do vice versa, all right, well, it's not possible because I don't have any cake, okay? So you always have to have the primary cryptocurrency right here, and then you can exchange it for another one, 
okay? So that's how um, decentralized exchange work. And this one is specific to the BNB smart chain, right? Then we do have another very, very popular DEX, which is Uniswap, right? Uni and Uniswap is the DEX of choice for the Ethereum blockchain, okay? It's the DEX for Ethereum. So the majority of the project that run, let's say this is coin maker, let's say, when this coin launches on the Ethereum blockchain, it will use Uniswap to have their users to actually go there and buy their token. Why? Because getting listed on a centralized exchange is a very long process and it costs a lot of money. This one doesn't cost pretty much anything, okay? Well, they need to, you need to provide liquidity, but it's not hundreds of even like millions of dollars to get listed on a major exchange like Binance, okay? And uh, so Uniswap is basically is the decentralized exchange of uh, Ethereum, okay? And you can uh, you can actually go right here and um, go here, launch app, and you will see it's pretty much pretty much the same layout, right? So you got the swap, you got the token that you want to swap with, you're gonna connect it to your wallet, you'll be able to swap your, your, your tokens, okay? So the other decentralized exchange that um, are very popular are Wagi Swap and One Inch, okay? So Wagi Swap is the decentralized exchange of the Velas blockchain, which is another blockchain and uh, uh, basically all the projects, again, they, la they launch on the Velas blockchain. At the beginning, they will use the Wagi swap to have their users, okay, buy their tokens and swap their tokens for, you know, whatever cryptocurrencies they have to the ones they want to buy, okay? And also another uh, decentralized exchange is One Inch, and that's um, a, an exchange that's used mainly for the uh, Matic, Polygon Matic network, okay? And also, I mean, there is a lot of, of different decentralized exchanges. Uh, there's the YDX, there's, there's different type of decentralized exchanges, but these are the most common one. And the, why, the reason why I wanted to, I uh, want you to associate them to a specific blockchain because you will understand at least like that, okay, PancakeSwap is for the BNB smart chain, Uniswap is for Ethereum, WagiSwap is for uh, uh, Velas, and then uh, there's also another one, it's called Radium for Solana. So the reason why, the reason why, this is very important to understand, okay? Because, uh, and, in, and this is just something that we, we're gonna wrap it up, and this is the bonus. This is the bonus, if you're still till the end, that's what, that's the, what the bonus was, okay? And the reason why you want to understand this is because, let's say, so in crypto, uh, everything moves in narratives. And what I mean by narratives is that when something is popular and gets a lot of attention, anything that it's correlated to that specific topic or token or narrative will also appreciate, okay? So um, over the uh, last few months, okay, uh, one of the narrative was the Luna tokens, Terra Luna, okay? Uh, and what Terra Luna is, is a layer one blockchain, okay? They got a lot of attention. And what happened is that um, all the projects, okay, that were built in, in the Luna ecosystem also appreciated in price, okay? And one of the most popular one, uh, I think we, we also talked before, uh, it was Anchor Protocol, right? It was basically, it's a, it's a saving as service, right? So another uh, branch of DeFi, where basically if you if you basically stake your native token, uh, the native token uh, UST, uh, which is basically a stable coin, 
in a stable coin, if you don't know what that is, it's a token that it's basically pegged to the price of the dollar and stays basically one token is one dollar. Okay. Uh, and there's a different mechanism on how that can stay one dollar. And we can cover this in another video, but I just wanted to uh, let you understand this. Um, so uh, once this got a lot of attention, this uh, project got a, got a lot of attention too. And then you have to, you are, once you see that an ecosystem is getting attention, you have to go very sequentially, right? So what are the projects that are going to potentially appreciate in price underneath, okay? So any ecosystem to survive, right, needs, needs a DEX, right? Decentralized exchange, okay? The liquidity protocols, it depends on how the liquidity is provided. And also they can be gaming, okay? It's another big narrative, okay? So what you can do, right? And that's where your research comes into play. If you see that something is getting attention, what are you gonna do? You're gonna look for these projects that are built in this ecosystem and uh, try to scout the one that have the best teams, they have the best utility. And if it makes sense, you know, go ahead and take advantage of that. Again, I'm not a financial advisor. This is for educational and informational purposes only. Do not take my word for granted. This is just me talking, okay? So uh, this, is, this is what I, I, I wanted you to, um, to, to take into consideration, okay? And right now, just to another little bonus for you, the, the uh, ecosystem that, in my opinion, will get a lot of attention in the next few months is gonna be Polkadot, okay? So right now we're in a bear trend in a bear market, but Polkadot, it's building its ecosystem very rapidly. And uh, there was something happening which is allowed a uh, project to be launched on the Polkadot ecosystem, okay? And this project are their own ecosystems itself, right? They are their own ecosystem. So one of the uh, projects that launched recently is Astar. There was Akala, a Moonbeam, okay? So those projects are their own ecosystem to themselves. So that's why I believe Polkadot is gonna be a big, big ecosystem. Because Polkadot, what it does is basically allows interoperability between different blockchains, okay? And once this ecosystem get more attention, what's gonna happen? Polkadot is gonna go up and all the project built on Polkadot will, gonna go, will eventually appreciate in price too. And because that's the way Polkadot is built, all the projects they're gonna build on Aster because Aster is considered a layer one blockchain will also potentially appreciate, right? So you have to pay attention on those narratives because that's when you can capitalize on okay so um this is this is pretty much uh, how you get involved into crypto okay so you know then you you basically have to uh deposit right at the beginning so you have to register with a centralized exchange at the beginning deposit your fiat currency which could be usd euro yen whatever you're using and then exchange that to the cryptocurrency that you like and then from there you can swap it with different other tokens okay but so that's that's in a nutshell the uh ultimate crypto guide uh i know we covered a lot over the last four videos i hope that you enjoyed and let me know what else you want me to cover in the comment below. Let me know if you like this guide. Let me know what other topics you want me to cover. I'll make sure to, to do my best to bring you the best content. And also, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can be notified about these time sensitive videos. And also, share with your family and friends and that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next.